Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, stability analysis. This is a topic which comes under the category classical mechanics in physics. What is meant by stability analysis? The stability analysis is used to determine the type of equilibrium in which a body is in. For example, uh, there are three types of equilibrium called stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium and uh, neutral equilibrium. I am going to give you an example for this. So this is a surface. A cone is kept like this. And you apply some small amount of force on this cone here. What will happen? The cone falls down on the floor. So this equilibrium is called unstable equilibrium. Even if you give a small amount of force to the body, the body immediately falls on the force floor. So that's why this is called unstable equilibrium. So the same cone, if kept like this, this is called a stable equilibrium position. This is unstable equilibrium and this is called stable equilibrium. Why? Because even if you apply a small amount of force, the cone is slightly tilted from its initial position, but still it regains its original position. So that is why this is called a stable equilibrium position. The another type of equilibrium is called a neutral equilibrium. So this is called a neutral equilibrium. Even if you apply some force here, there will be no change. So these are all the three types of equilibrium positions. Stability analysis is used to find out uh, what is the type of equilibrium a particular object is in when a force acts on the body. Here uh, the potential energy of the body depends only on the x coordinate of the body. So if I am drawing a plot like this, x is the independent quantity and v of x is the dependent quantity. The potential energy of the body depends only on the x coordinate of the body. If you plot the potential energies for various positions of uh, x, you may get a graph like this. You may get a graph like this. This is just a, one of the examples. Uh, it's not compulsory that you, are get, you should get only this kind of pattern. You can get any type of pattern depending on the type of motion in which the body is in. So I am just giving you an example. This is the graph between x and v of x. The potential energy of the body depends only on the x coordinate. So now we have to find out uh, what is the type of equilibrium the particular body is in when acted upon by a force f of x and uh, the potential energy acting on the body is v of x. So uh, in order to find out uh, f of x we need to use this formula d by dx of v of x. In other words you have to differentiate the potential energy of the body with respect to x and you have to apply a negative sign. This formula comes from the Newtonian mechanics. So now how can you determine uh, what is the type of equilibrium of the body? So you have to use this formula dv by dx equal to 0 and find out the particular value of x for which the potential energy, in other words the gradient of the potential energy that is dv by dx becomes 0 at what value of x. That particular value of x is denoted by the symbol x0. x0 is called the equilibrium point. That means at that particular value of x, the body is said to be in equilibrium. Whether it is in stable or unstable equilibrium is a different story that we are going to see now how to find out whether the body is in stable or unstable equilibrium. First of all, you have to take the gradient of the potential energy that is dv by dx and you have to equate this to 0. Then you will get the particular value of x at which this equation holds. That particular value of x is denoted as x0 and this is called the equilibrium point. This is called the equilibrium point. And now you have to find out uh, what is the type of equilibrium. For that uh, you need to find out uh, d squared v by dx squared. Uh, dx squared. You need to see uh, whether this value is greater than 0 or less than 0. If this d squared v by dx squared is greater than 0, then that is called the minimum equilibrium point and uh, the particular body is said to be in stable equilibrium. On the other hand, uh, if you find d squared v by dx squared is less than 0, then that is a maximum equilibrium point 
and the body is said to be in unstable equilibrium so the next thing is uh, if the body oscillates about some equilibrium position then you can find out the frequency of that oscillation using these parameters in other words uh, if the body uh, is undergoing some type of oscillation about uh, the equilibrium positions you can use these particular values in order to find out the angular frequency of oscillations of that particular body how to find out that so earlier uh, you have found out the equilibrium points x not so now you have to find uh, you have to write like this k equal to d square v by dx square at x equal to x not after calculating this d square v by dx square you need to apply x not in place of uh, x and you can find out k so using the k value you can find the angular frequency of oscillations using this formula that is uh, k is called the force constant and uh, omega equal to root of k by m this formula will give you the angular frequency of oscillations about that particular equilibrium point if in the problem it is uh, uh, it is it has been asked that you need to find out just the frequency and not the angular frequency we need to use this formula omega equal to 2 pi f if in the problem it is asked to find out the angular frequency you can use this formula if they ask you to find out the frequency you need to use this formula f equal to 1 by 2 pi into omega so that is equal to uh, 1 by 2 pi root of k by m in both these uh, formulas m is the mass of the particular body so using uh, d square d by dx square you can uh, tell uh, whether the body is in stable or unstable equilibrium after that uh, you can uh, use this formula omega equal to square root of k by m to determine the angular frequency of oscillations of the body about the equilibrium point in the starting of this video i explained to you uh, what are the three types of equilibrium stable unstable and neutral equilibrium then i told you how to use the stability analysis to find out the type of equilibrium first uh, you have to differentiate the potential energy of the body with respect to x and you have to equate this to zero when you use this equation you will get the particular value of x at which at which uh, dv by dx equal to zero the equation holds that particular value of x is called x not and that is called the equilibrium point then you have to differentiate the potential energy with respect to x again that means you need to take the second order differential equation of the potential energy with respect to x and you have to find out whether that is greater than 0 or less than 0 when that is greater than 0 that is called the minimum equilibrium point and the body is said to be in stable equilibrium when the d square v by dx square is less than 0 then that is called the maximum equilibrium point then the body is said to be in unstable equilibrium using this value that is d square v by dx square that is equal to k when you apply x not in place of x and you can find out the force constant k that is equal to d square v by dx square at particular value of x equal to x not and then you can calculate the angular frequency of oscillations of the body omega equal to square root of k by m you can also find out the frequency using this formula also where m is called the mass of the body in my next video i am going to tell you how to solve the problems as far as this topic is concerned i will tell you how to solve some of the previous year questions asked in csir net physical sciences as far as the stability analysis is concerned if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any clarifications or if you want to give any suggestions kindly give your comments and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe if you want to get more notifications about my videos kindly tap the bell icon thank you very much